Hello Will. Just doing some more teasing and I thought I'd bring you in and uh, share with you what I've learned so far. What I do isn't necessarily right, so of course any advice would be gratefully received, but I thought I'd share you with you some um, tips that I've learned so far. Basically I've just thrown some small vases to be fired again in the barrel, but um, the idea is to get that sort of surface from that. So these have just been ribbed over with a steel rib um, and that's all. So and the base has been turned a bit. But uh, I shall bring the camera in and we'll I'll try to talk you through what I do. I'll try not to cut this too much so that you can see the stages I go through and when to shine it up etc so hopefully it'll help we'll see first rule is uh, to mix up your terracid thoroughly before you start but uh, I'm sure you know that first thing i found is flick the brush until there's no drips this just seems to help what what I was finding was if I loaded up the brush, brushed over the surface, on thin lips and things they would often crack if the pot was thrown particularly thinly. So I do that instead, um, which seems to control it and, and to be honest works perfectly well. I also find if I start from the bottom and work my way up, that means you're going to have less on the brush when you reach the top. So you're only good to put a very thin layer over it, so it's less likely to crack there as well. So, um, there we go. First few layers you get like a matte, um, in my case, light brown over the surface. Once again the brush is not dripping. And I find as I build up the layers, the surface of the pot, obviously it soaks in the moisture, will get darker. And when it reaches a certain stage, that seems to be the point at which you should um, polish up. But I'll try to get through this fairly quickly and show you what I mean. You just wait after you've applied each layer for it to dry off. You can see where there's no wet on the surface now. So, if you can see here, it's a little darker brown. That's the sort of surface I want on it before I start to shine it up. But I want that to be all over it. See, I'm just about there now. There's just a couple of little lines. So one more layer. I want to do it. Just waiting for the bottom bit to dry off a little more. Now in an earlier video I said to take a soft cloth to it at this point and then to use a bit of plastic bag or whatever on it. Don't use <laughs> cloth. Um, the reason is if you use a cloth it throws up tons of dust. I, I didn't realise um, until I'd sigged up a whole load of stuff and realised um, how it was affecting me but yeah it does throw up a lot of dust. So just use a 
plastic bag instead. And you can see how it's coming up already. Try to be fairly firm. You will learn as you go how rough you can be with the pot. Like most of the things when you work with clay, they handle an awful lot of stress to know how to <laughs> if you know how to treat them. Just to wipe down. There you go, that's not bad. I think I'm going to do just maybe two more layers. We should be just about there. But I'll leave the camera on while I work so that you can um, see all the stages I'm going through. So there you go, hope you've enjoyed. I just wanted to end this video with a big thank you to you all for your comments and advice over the last what, nine months or so since I've been on YouTube and to all of you who post videos of your work um, and your techniques it's been absolutely fantastic and I just wanted to say how much I appreciated it. Y también uh, a mis amigos que hablan español, muchas gracias. Uh, sus comentarios son apreciados y uh, lo siento, solo hablo un poco español.